Okay, here we go. Right, John's got wood. John's got wood and he's gonna share his wood with you today. And we're gonna do a simple little, simple little wood work up um, on this base here from, where is this from? Elric's Hobbies. And um, we'll do a nice simple one. We've got, we're gonna use mostly scale painting today. Scale, um, scale 75 paints for this. And a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of magic mix as well, you know what I mean? Okay, so we've got these planks which are down in a, a dock or some, something like that. The docks are normally higher. Skiff. Wood on water. We're not going to focus on the water today. We are going to focus on the actual wooden planks. Now, usually I would give... This is just rattle can. Simple GW rattle can. Um, which, thankfully, the humidity didn't tear up. But I ran out of white. Normally, I'd give this a scoosh of white paint across the top um, as well. But I've run out of white and I can't get any more at the minute. So I'm going to do something just to lighten it up. Schminka. Good old Schminka. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to powder brush across the top of this. It just brings out the details and it gives me a nicer kind of base to um, to start getting the, uh, the actual wooden colors down. And let me just get rid of the screamy, shouty, crappy music. There we go. All right. So we're just going to, I'm just going to really, really quickly powder brush uh, across the top of this. It's not exactly the same as giving it a scoosh of a good old white rattle can, but it will do the job. Um, just picks out the details, gives me a slightly lighter um, prime to work on, but also gives me some nice dark shadows going on. And we want to we want to make sure all this wooden grain really stands out. Let me get a little bit more. All right. I'm just using Schmincke Titanium White for this and a really large battered old dry brush. Uh, we want to make this as simple as possible. Um, you can do this as Zenithal Priming. It's the most janky Zenithal Priming you'll ever do. You could run uh, a dry brush over the top of a model if you didn't have white paint and you wanted to actually have a Zen Prime. Bear in mind you will get texture because it's dry brushing and dry brushing leaves texture. Uh, you could powder brush which is even lighter dry brushing. But again, you're probably going to get little texture. But just very, very likely to pick out the, I don't mean the detail and stuff. To Turner, thanks so much for that. But I think Welcome along. We're so, followed. I'll just hit the top of these bulwarks. We won't focus on the bulwarks today. I think that's what they're called. Any fishy people in here? Any dirty sailors? If there is, tell me. Are those bulwarks? I'm sure they're bulwarks. Um, that's enough. So, it's not exactly the same as running a, a rattle can of white over the top but it's good enough so what we're going to do is let's get some paint out let's start let's get a little bit of a little bit of walnut all right a little bit of walnut i'm going to tint this whole thing with walnut to start with lovely paint scale 75 walnut cracking that no, wasn't funny in my head either don't worry um all right so i'm going to get some of this out i'm going to start with a little walnut out on the wet palette there the heat here is intolerable at the minute makes everything dry so much quicker. Alright, so I'll get a little walnut out. I mean, more than that. Nice one, Drew. Cheers, buddy. How you doing, pal? Um, so what else do I need? Right, so we're going to use a little bit of walnut. And I'm going to get out a little bit of sandalwood. A little, I want it kind of this dirty, kind of pinky colour. This will mix in nicely. It'll start to get the kind of... Um, you get a kind of the kind of colours as the wood gets uh, weather blown and bleached out by the wind and the rain, the seawater and all that, the jazzery. So I'm going to take a little bit of sandalwood from scale. Um, what else do I want to use? I need something darker. Right, so a little bit of this. I'll introduce these as we come along to them. Just give them a good shape while I'm at it. Um, that, of course, my old friend. Oh yes, never leave home without a roco. Never leave home without a roco. And of course, I'll need an off white for doing some highlight, where the wood is totally bleached out. Uh, Birch will do nicely. And of course, I need a little bit of the Magimix, which I'm running really low on at the minute, but no harm, no foul. Okay, let's, uh, let's get stuck in. Uh, I wanna get a nice, soft and easy brush. We're gonna tint over this, let me just find that. Okay. Um, Let's get some water in here. No need for any of these mediums or any of that, but jazzery. We're just going to use some water. Uh, put this down as a tint first. That white should now be dry. Told you this is going to be easy. Uh, 
So you can see why I did that, why I wanted to have that dry brush of white over the top. Uh, my friend TJ, hey pal, how you doing? Welcome along, happy afternoon. It's boiling here, but paint on we shall. The only good thing about this weather is that when you're doing a workup, you don't have to wait for anything to dry because it almost instantaneously dries. I'm just washing this on. I'm gonna do a couple of washes on it, right? A couple of washes will do it. These are quite a bit, just get rid of those lights out of the way a little bit. There we are. And let's give that another, let's make it a little stronger this time. I don't mind if I get into the sea. No harm, no foul. Um, if I put too much brown into the sea section, it's fine. I can just say, no worries at all. It's the Irish Sea. Um, so maybe we're going to make this a little stronger some or not. I'm going to make that to dry. And while that's drying... Um, hey, Zim Uncle, how you doing, Bill? Um, where am I? My bot keeps disappearing off behind other things. Um, okay, so I want to get that. Let's get uh, let's get a large brush. It's a large base. A nice brush. Right, so I'm gonna. Whoa. That needs to dry faster. You dry faster. Of course, my my usual paint hair dryer is packed and shipped and on its way to Ireland. Fantastic. What can you do? Right, so let's just a little bit of this. In here, I'm going to strengthen this now. Uh, so I'm mixing a little sandwood into the brown. And I'm not going to thin this down as much this time. Uh, I want to keep it a little bit stronger. Because I'm going to go in towards the dark. So I'm going to actually add a little bit of flat black in here as well. Or do I want... Yes. Little flat black. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Hey, Sabat. Thank you very much for that raid, mate. Welcome along, everybody from Sabat stream. Oh, we know the power. Superb. Sabat, thank you very much for that raid, buddy. Welcome along. All right. I'm going to darken this down a bit with some black. So we're adding black into the walnut. And just a little bit. There we are. I don't need to thin this down too much. Uh, we'll come, we'll picking out, we'll be picking out the wood grain later on. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to pull this towards where I want it to be darker. And uh, that's actually a little bit thick. Not quite dark enough. There we go. We've got this kind of dirty grey brown now. So at that, where the nails and stuff are, I'll keep those slightly brighter as the planks kind of like plumb up so we have to make a kind of choice oh we don't want the planks to be all exactly the same make that darker again and darker again come on darken down there there you go choppy good job right. i'm picking some areas to of the wood to make this darker tone and then others I'll actually highlight up and weather make them look more bleached keep that one slightly because it's near to the sea how's your strings about all went well I do hope matey I'm pulling some black in here and there and the black is cooperation there we go And darken the same there. Uh, wood is not uniform. Look at anything that you've had done in wood. It's not uniform. Each piece of wood warps, weathers, changes, ages in its own little way. Even if it's the same tree. It will still not be exactly uniform, much as people may try and make it so. You will get little hints and changes of colour. But we want this to be uh, such, kind of echoing that. Um, you, what are you talking about? Stuff so from Gen Con. Yes, there was many nice things at Gen Con. Um, I entered into a competition again. <laughs> A uh, what should we call it? A KDM competition for Echoes of Death. 
I never win anything, man. Like, seriously. Uh, I could be the only person in a raffle, and I'd still manage to lose. Okay, so we've darkened this down a little bit. So with that nicely darkened down uh, in some parts of areas, I'm gonna add a little more brown back in here. I want some brown leather as well. Brown leather's a little richness. This is all very desaturated browns that we're using at the minute, um, which gives that more worn, weathered look. But I am going to use a little bit of a richer brown. I'm gonna glaze that in. Just add some nice color back into it. Um, and I put that into the, the game. We're working very thin and light here. I'll put in some nice richer browns. This comes partly from a scale 75 wood workout, which I liked. But I liked it even better when I started changing it and doing it my own way. Just kind of usual. I'm like, oh, it's a really good workout. I'm going to do this and this and this and this instead. All right. I think it's nicer tones in. Um, what I want to do now is get into the grain. So I'm going to take some black leather and pop some of that out. And I thin the hell out of half of it. And a little dark, a little flat black. We're working fast. I'm in a fast working mood. Because I hate this heat. It does seem to make me paint quicker because the damn paint keeps drying out. Even with two fans and a wet palette. Um, so black leather mixed with some, uh, mixed with a little flat black. And I'm going to wash this down. So we'll get all of those a little darker. All right. Uh, we'll get all the, the grooves and stuff done. Again, I'm going to be pulling it towards my darker areas. I do want some, I do want to bleach out some of these planks. Show where the wind and the rain and stuff has taken the, uh, the color out of the wood. Um, where are we going here? We kind of started, not exactly from a mid tone, but from a lighter tone, and we're going dark, 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 and then we'll start bringing back up some of the more weathered areas. And then the final thing, I will give it a, a glaze of Magimix, just to darken it down. This should be old janky wood. Okay, so let's let that. More flat black. That's not flat black, that's abyssal blue. Seems good! No harm, no foul. Let's mix some of that with the uh, black leather. And we get, oh, we get a very nice color. Well, that's just, oh, that's nice. I'm going to use this. It's a nice dark color. Nice. And Some darker bones here. Like the wood's been stained. I meant to bring up, usually when I'm doing this, I would bring up some recent soft area here or something. Um, some research photographs to have a look at beforehand, but today was so busy, I didn't get near 
England. So in typical Jan fashion, we're winging it. Sorry if I'm missing chat, I'm just kind of going to work quickly on this here. I had to gouge out some of these um, lines between the planks. Uh, I just took a, an awl just to make them dark, sorry, uh, make them deeper and also look like it was a bit more of a sh bit of shoddy workmanship. Putting the uh, putting the the skiff together. Alright, one more. It's quite. Good. Bring the light down a bit. Um. Mm, a bit dark. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so that's where at the minute, and you can see how quickly this is drying in this heat. Um, it's really, 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 really just drying back terribly. We're gonna go back to a mix and we're gonna start lightening up. We're gonna start lightening up some of these these edges now. So I'll go back to our start, which was walnut, and I'm gonna mix in a little Oroco and a little more sandalwood, and we'll start adding some lighter, some lighter areas as well. But our main plan here is to try and get wood that looks weathered, worn. Yeah, as you know, I don't do natural. Or sorry, no, I don't do bright, shiny, and new. I want this to be really nice and stained, worn, and falling to bits. That's the way we like it. All right, let me just have a look and see how chat's doing. Oh, I'd love a cup of coffee. God. Um, hey, Absinthe, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. Nighty the Bold. All right, mate, how are you? Warboy, who's the base for? Um, I'll give it away eventually, probably. Possibly. Um, the only thing I can think that this would... Oh my god, I just thought this would be great for. If we do the water in kind of swampy greens, like nasty swamp water, perfect for Malifaux's Bayou Gremlins. Something like that. Um, that would work really well, actually, now that I think of it. Right, that's dry already. Uh, Tim Tamora, um, oh god. Brew me a cup, would you man? Love a cup at the minute. Right, so let's take some of our walnut and mix in a little bit of sandalwood. Let's start starting to Hello, hello, Justin hates eighty eight. Alright buddy, thank you very much. Nice, nice, nice. I am um, the the the, the biogremlins are just awesome. Rainer's been painting up some of them, and they're just such sweet minis. So we're gonna wherever we want this light. Damn it, man! This paint is drying out at the rate of drying. Okay. I'm gonna hit the edge of these planks. Lighter mix. I'm going to go lighter than I want the final product to be, as per usual, because I will fire it back with some of the magic mix, just to deepen some of the uh, the grain and the wood and homogenize it, and add a little, you know, little after junk. And where am I now? Making some? No, no, making your own basis is quality. Um, I do kind of depends. I do a kind of mix of both. Sometimes I like to use resin bases. Um, and I'll get my stuff usually from MicroArts, just because their range is that. There's no other company that has a range even close to them. Um, but other times it's nice to kind of make your own. You know, cobble something together, tailor it to the mini that's going to go on top of it eventually. Okay. I'm gonna keep the brush relatively dry. So as I just shuffle over this, it's not going right down into the grain of the wood. More hitting the uh, raised areas. 
Right, down here though we do need to we'll pop a little uh yeah those pigs are awesome uh may hit more of Lut what gang is lutherian doing As soon as I get back to Ireland, I want to jump straight in and get the rest, of, get the uh, get working the ten thunders done properly. I think they're actually in Ireland by now. So this color, I'm trying to trying to bleach out some of the wood. Uh, we are going to add in some green as well later on, where the wood's kind of like on slimy and starting to rot or as algae or whatever growing into it. But first, we want to get working nice. I want to keep that quite stained in the middle. Um, Pen is my shirt. Ah, okay, okay. Can't believe it. Time is beginning to like really, really, really start flying now. So looking forward to getting back to Ireland. Getting the new studio set up, sorted. I need to get, first thing I need to do when I get home is get lights. I've got no lights. Well, it's part of the donation goal. I mean, it's to get a whole, uh, whole set of new lights. I will not be sad to lose these two lights here because they are an absolute nightmare. And I'll be getting some, hopefully getting some nice new architect lights. Okay, so I'll start bringing a little Oroko into this some yellow tone as well. About well, ochre. I'm using it like a large brush here. As I was using it earlier on, I was too lazy to change brushes. as possible. Not too uniform or repetitious. Bringing in quite a few different colors as well. And if you go and look at any sort of old wood walkway or just some rotten wood in the side of the road, but look at it, really look at it, you'll start to see that there's so many colors involved. I want to pop some of these other colors in, represent. Um, water, I think it's supposed to be water. Could be mud. Um, I was just saying, if you paint it as like really janky, muddy water, it would be perfect for the uh, Malifaux baby grounds, but I think it's supposed to be water. I will paint it. Actually, I am going to paint it as kind of janky, bay water. Where it's simple, I can't get the word. This will get toned, well, settled down eventually with the good old Magimix. To be the last thing we'll actually do to it. Yeah, smell it. Nice job, honey.
enjoy. Mm. We got, uh, when we were waiting for a bus in, uh, yesterday, in this horrible, sweaty, terrible bus station on the other side of the country, we turned around, there's like a little bookstore. This is Jan spotted Harry Potter coloring, adult cuddling, cuddling, not cuddling, but coloring oh. book. Um, so it just, it just had to be bought, it had to be bought. All right, so bring, this is actually just pure Oroco I'm using now, it's quite dry on the brush. And I'm just pulling it across to hit the grabbing grain. Like that. So we're starting to get that worn bleached out effect. Um, Hello. Stars. Right. I want that to be totally dry. While that's Hello, drying, I'm going to get out. Uh, don't you teach English? So they tell me. That's what it says on my payslip every month. I don't know. Hello. Perhaps. Sarah. How you doing, Nite? Hope you're doing well, mate. So we are. I really need to start stop using this huge brush. Um, and just switch down to. Hello, Rainer. So Mrs. Jan is all happy she now has her Harry Potter adult coloring book. Okay, so our final thing we're gonna do is, well, final for the minute. I'll go back to my walnut and sandalwood mix and have a little bit of Oroco in it. I'm gonna take a scoop of that, bring it over here and start adding a little bit of birch into it. Any old off-white will do. And a slightly darker off-white, don't go too bold and a little bit of that just mixing our different browns and off browns that we were using earlier on there we go we get something that's a bit paler and we use this it's weird like in this heat i'm having to like over thin stuff or thin it more than i normally would it's just not flowing on the brush as well as it normally would. So it's like I get the right colour and then I have to just about to actually paint and then I kind of go right, drop another little bit of water in that. Nope. Right. right, with this, I'm going to hit edges. Tone this right down. Uh, you might at some point, Absinthe. She hasn't finished anything yet. Uh, we nearly had to go down to like, I was going to go down to the, um, the art store, just pick up some colouring pencils, until I found an, a box of aquarelles that I had, which I did originally intend using for minis somehow. I think I'd seen a tutorial somewhere saying about using watercolour pencils or something. Um, so I bought like a really nice set of aquarelles and of course forgot all about using them ever. Right, so again, doing just what I did with the Oroco last time. Kind of follow some of these bits of grain. I'm rather sick of having to over constantly add more water to the paint because of the heat. Coming out nicely. Um, I will upload this segment of the VOD to YouTube. Um, so there is a quick workup for folk on wood uh, until I get the chance. Um, to do a full VOD with the other, with the larger wooden base. Um, hopefully soon. Well, it'll be when I get back to Ireland, but I need to get everything set up first. I want these planks to come together. To have some of the brighter lights to uh, we will use the Magimix, but I'm going to thin it down a fair bit, just adding a little white in here. Uh, 
Uh, in a minute, I'm going to use a little Sherwood green. And we will add some green tones to the wood. That kind of algae and the like has um, started to take hold. And we're back again. Birch. Thanks, darling. I'm getting sprayed down now. You do realize you're going to be in YouTube as well now, don't you, love? Hmm? Oh, this part of the VOD is going up on YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Dirty bag. Did you just call Slowfuse Gaming's hobby bag, go bag, dirty? Oh my heavens, get out you absolute philistine. Um, he's working as well like a pro, I'm telling you man. I love my wood. Um, I've got, everyone always kind of goes on, oh, see down about metals, see down about metals. It's like, yeah, I do paint other stuff besides metal. Uh, I like painting metals, but I love painting natural, not skin, not skin, not skin. Um, I like playing natural materials as well. Leather, I absolutely adore painting leather, wood. There's just something you can, Doing stuff like this, you can really quite let go. You're not constricted. Um, there's a lot more looseness to it. And then in one sense, the kind of looser you are, knowing the kind of principles of what colors are gonna go into it and how you know environments and stuff affect it. Uh, but of the colors, but you can try out a lot of different colors and you're not gonna be, you're very unlikely to be actually wrong. Damn nation, this is drying out something chronically oh, fast. Very likely, unlikely to be wrong. Because if you, as I said, look at some wood and see all the different colors that actually pop when you look at it carefully. There will be just about every color under the sun, especially in the more weathered sections. Just using the edge of the brush here to grab a little light on the, the wood grain up here in this darker zone. Okay, so that's how we are at the minute. Now we need to bring this all together. I'm going to use just a little bit of pure birch in a few areas. There's a few kind of real standout bits of grain. I'll use a little pure birch. Just give my wood a little, uh, like a little extra tickle tickle with the birch. Scale 75 birch is just an absolutely beautiful color it's really really versatile i use it in so many different things the off whites the scale 75 off whites um are the best i've come across bar none yes Vallejo model ivory is good and everyone goes on about it it's a nice paint the scale 75 off whites knock it out of the water um memory memory amber Thank you very much for that follow. Sorry for the butchering of thy name. I'm rubbish with names. I butcher them all the time. So, my welcomes and my apologies all in one breath. Just this last little bit. So you can see with this wood now. By working up all these different colours. I will tone down some of this. Of course, with the magic mix. But by working all these different colours up. Um, of ochre in here. Working all these different colors and we've got a more natural old weather um, wood effect. I'm just rubbing a little ochre in the mid-tones. By ochre I'm talking about a roco of course. Roco. Roco. You can play with my wood anytime. Okay, that's good enough. Right. Getting that dry super quickly. Let's get a uh, marble. Oh yeah, I like doing marble as well. Stone's fun. Um, Magimix, I hope I have it. Where did my Magimix go? 
Alright, so we're going to use an Ajimax. I think I've enough. I'm going to reappropriate. Well, I'm going to put a little more Agrax into it. I want to have it more of a brown Magimix than a dark black Magimix. Let me get a, a wash brush. Can I get a wash brush, please? Thank you. That's not good. That's good. Okay. So I'm just going to increase. Now, as we remember, as we all remember, Magimix. Ouch! Magimix is a 21111. Two parts non oil, one part Agrax Earthshade, one part Lamian Medium, one part Water, one part Magic. Last part is a lot. Uh, I'm just adding a little more Agrax into this. And I'm going to thin this down. So this final kind of glaze, filter, whatever the hell you want to call it, is just going to bring this all together nicely. Deepen our, vein, or deepen our grain a little bit. And... Right. We're going to slop it on and again, pulling it towards the darker areas, just like that. And that is essentially how you do Dead easy, dead fun, natural weathered wood. If you want clean wood, don't ask me. I don't do clean wood. My wood is dirty. Hey, you knew what you were getting in for. Hey, oops, going the wrong way. And don't forget to rim your wood. And thank God Pixie isn't here. The last would be on the floor by now. Okay. And essentially, that's our dock. Now, if we want to, we can add some green in here, right? So let's do that. While it's still wet, yes, 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 yes. So. Let's take a little bit of Sherwood Green. Nice. I don't mean to alarm anybody, um, but I think... Oh, push it. Nice. I like that name. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Very much for popping by. I like to look at our den screen as well. Hey, DJ. All right, mate. How you doing? Let's just take two little bits of green here. And that doesn't go there. Uh, change my brush. Why bother? I'm going to take some of these greens on the tip of my brush. Uh, let's see, where do we want to put some kind of some algae greens? Let's pop them in around here. All right, so I'm going to put in some green like that. All right. Yeah, brush. And let's just dab at them. What I'm, wanna, what I'm doing here with the kind of the dabbing, right? I'm just making sure that there's no edges to the paint, all right? I'm picking up some dark green and then picking up some light green. All right, I'm just turning the brush, but both greens are in the tip of my brush there. It doesn't matter what bloody brush you use. Don't use a good brush. Um, Mr. Oh, good I think Mr. You got it. How you doing, pal? Thanks very much. Let's put some green up in here. Right. I don't mean to alarm anybody. Crikey, never loses one. You beauty, get in some. Thank you. So I'm popping my green in, and then I'm just softening that edge. Christ, in a bike. Coach Meta, Met TV. We're being followed. Thank you. This will make for a righteous YouTube tutorial. Me swearing. Oh wait, that's all the time. Right. So in these darker areas, let's pop some in here again. Again, I'm just dabbing a little bit of that green in. All right. And I go back and just break the edges up. Just tap off the edges. But it does look like it's growing through the wood. Pull it out a little bit. Under no circumstances do we want any sort of straight cut, you know, uh, unnatural kind of uh, dry lines. Let's take a little darker here. Um, I want to get some in around here. We need that shell, that dark area. Perfect for algae to, to grow and all the rest of it and nature and shit. And again, let's break the edge. Where the paint is up. Alright, and if it's a little bit, see that's got quite dark. It dried, it's not a problem, no harm, no foul. 
the back end, some of the lighter green over top. Again, this is all really, really relaxed painting, just kind of like working with if it's wet, you can work something in if you don't want it to, if you don't want to work your wood into the wetness, not a problem, go to another area. Come back. I mean, this freaking heat looks that's a bit strong, but again, not a problem. That brush. I like having that, actually, that little bit of brightness in around this rope works quite nicely. Um, Strikey DJ. What have you done to yourself? Sir? You choked. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, Nightshade, my wood is. It's seen some good usage, man, but it's, it's still holding its own. I think some of the new people have just come into the stream and are kind of wondering, where the fuck am I? That was this crazy little Irishman talking about. The little bugger. Okay, we don't want to overdo this, so let's leave our, wood, our green algae and whatnot like that. So essentially, that's our deck. I, I might add a little more Magimex on top of that actually. Let's take a bit of that blue there. A little bit of that abyssal blue. Uh, I do need to check this is actually dry. Dry enough. Good tune, good tune. And chili peppers. Okay. I don't mean to alarm wow. you, buddy. McConnell, think, how you doing, pal? Thank you very much for that follow, man. All right, let's leave it at that. Okay, I don't want to overwork this. So. John's wood. Okay. Um, that's essentially our, our old rotting. Um, our old rotting. It's still wet, obviously, from the thing. It'll dry in about two minutes. But it gives a nice... Really, really quick workup. Really, really quick workup. Let's have a look at our paints. Let's have a look at our paints. Okay, so we started with walnut. Okay, washed the walnut onto it, then used a um, slightly thicker walnut, adding towards the the, the darker areas. And um, next thing we did was what did we do next? We used some black leather, a wash of black leather to get into the grain. I added some black to that. Then I added some abyssal blue because I fucked up and picked up the wrong paint. Still works. No harm, no foul. We added some sandalwood into the walnut. We added some Oroco into the walnut and used that for highlighting more uh, bleached out areas of the wood. And then finally for the real highlights, we added some birch um, into these two mixes here. Essentially is that. For our, our main wash to bring everything together, we very simply used Magimix. That is Nullin Oil. Nullin Oil and Agrax Earthshade. Lamian Weetium Medium and good old H2O. That essentially is what we did. For algae, if you wanted to add in some algae, we just dabbed our brush into Ardennes Green and Sherwood Green and then just put those in wherever we felt. Um, they look good on the wood. Not your wood, my wood. Okay, so essentially, that's pretty much almost dry now. That's simple wood work up. Um, the key element here is one, know your wood. Know the colors that will go into wood, okay? Uh, number two, enjoy yourself, relax. Um, you can see this is all quite kind of dabby and messy and janky looking, but it does much more of a look of that old um, weather-worn and rotted and crappy wood on, a, on an old um, skiff or what do you call the things again? Deck, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And that's that. I am going to take a quick break so I can get myself some iced water. Hope that worked for you guys. Um, I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, don't go away.
Holy crap, what just happened? What happened? What? What's going on? Poor Chris! Oh, you beautiful bastard! You lovely human being! Oh, Orky, you missed my wood! You missed my wood, Orchis! Fear not, it will be going up on YouTube. I spread the wood around. I found a bear. It's not a very good bear, but I found a bear. It was in the fridge. I deserve a bear. Um, orc to dork things! Nice. Orky, what are you working on? Tell me, tell me, tell me, sir. Miss Kit Katsy, how are you doing? Um, I just did a very fast, yes, you heard it, fast. I can do fast. Mm. Slaunch, good job. Nightshi, good to see you back as well, mate. Here's one for your good health. Mm. Oh, Christ. It's not a good beer, but on a day like this, it's cold. That's the main thing, right? Let me just wash out this hairbrush. Yes, Orky, uh, we finished up the last finishing touch on the 10 Imperial Psychers. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot about those. Those are coming on rather nicely, actually. Well, don't forget to get them into the whipping room. We have a, a whipping room on my server, as well as on, on our triptych server, and that's what we want to see. We want to see your... No, that's my wood, sorry. I'm stuck on wood net. I want to see what you've been working on, so definitely get them up there. Do... Uh, let me just take a minute to put these paints away that we're using. Walnut, you go there. Uh, Oroko, my darling. I love... My heavens, where do you go? You go there, I think. Birch. Uh, not that I've memorized exactly where all the paints go in the rack, but I do. Yes, Orc, we just did. Um, helps when I go to the right screen. I just did very, very quick, janky weathered um, wooden decking, um, which I will. I'll port the. I'll port the vod over to. I want to put a little more green in there, actually. Um, I'll port the vod over to to YouTube as a placeholder because eventually, when I find God, how do I keep losing this thing? Eventually, when I get back to Ireland, I'll be doing a proper YouTube tutorial on this little guy's big brother. This guy. Um, and I'll explain things a little bit better. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show you that one. So we can pop something up for people. Hopefully, 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 guys, that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, as always, if you have any questions, what's so fat and ever, um, just whisper me or... Um, message me or whatever the cool kids are calling it these days. That's that. Not bad. It'll do. It's wood. Nowhere is in Funko. Um, hey, Pumpkin Pie, how you doing, darling? Um, yeah, it's it's as I said, it was just a, a simple wood workup. It's based on the scale seventy five workup, which is nice, but there was things that had problems which I didn't like about it. Um, so I kind of adjusted and adapted and basically did what I wanted to do myself. Um, so that's 